Hi, I'm Paul Maddox, and I'm here to show you a new feature I've added to Tron. This will probably be the last feature I add, um, unless anybody comes up with any mind-numbingly fantastic ideas um, whilst I'm making the kits and bits and pieces. So I'll show you what this does. Now this mode, um, this is a new feature, and it allows us to turn on and off the various parts during a performance. So it's very much aimed at live performance. So as you can see here, I've got a, a bass drum part program, the basic four on the floor. I've got a oops, push the buttons, snare drum part, and I've got a sort of shaker part, and I've got hi hats and all sorts of bits and pieces programmed. But when you press play, all you can hear is the bass drum. This is because I've muted the other seven parts. So to get into the mute mode, you hold down the mode button, and you press this button here, the third one along, and it says part on. Now as you can see these lights are all flashing away down here telling me there's lots of activity going on and I've got probably what sounds like quite a horrendous pattern. But what I can do now is I can selectively add bits and pieces on. So I can turn the bass drum off. I can turn the bass drum on. I can add me shaker. There we go. Or I can add some hi-hat. A bit of closed hi-hat as well. There you go. Bring me shaker back, some hand claps, a bit of rim shot, bring me snare in, let that play for a bit, bit tom fill, and there we go. Makes it a little bit more fun when you come into jamming. I'm gonna kill some of this. There we go. Makes it a bit more fun when it comes to jamming. Also makes it a bit more flexible in my mind um, for doing live performances. Uh, one important thing to notice about this: these various mutes on and off and parts on and off um, are not stored with the pattern. This is a sort of global thing. So when you are performing, if you've got patterns chained and all sorts of various bits and pieces, these affect both patterns at the same time and they're not saved. Just to show you what I mean, if you go to load, we chain two parts. Oh, there we go. Press that. Played you that pattern earlier along with a bass line before. Come out of load. Now, remember I said before, when you exit load and save, it returns you to the mode you were before. I'm now in this mode. So I've just got my shaker and my hi hats for both patterns that are chained. No matter what happens, that was the fill. So there you go. I'll bring the snare back in after the fill. It should be any second. It gives you a bit more flexibility when you're doing live performances and having a bit of a jam session with your mates or on your own. One other new feature that was missing on all my other little uh, boards before is we now have a 2.5mm DC in power socket. Fairly standard thing, hang on, pull it out, there you go. So you can plug that and plug it straight in. There's no messing around with any funny wires or soldering bits on or stuff like previous modules. Um, all my future little micro designs as they are will come out with this on and if there's audio there will be a three and a half millimeter or maybe a quarter inch connector on the board as well so there you go thanks very much for listening and for watching and um, enjoy